What's up, bro? Big vibes. You know what's going on. Part of G the Humble. DJ Hollywood. It's definitely, definitely more than music. You know what I mean? Jumping in the spaceship. We got the spaceship out here. It's raining. Fucking let's do it. We outside. Uh, these niggas be scary. They blunts be airy. The streets be lair. These niggas be scary. So you know you're gonna be going like two or three people at a time. Where we at though? Where we at? Where we at? We at Mikasa's right now, Troy, New York. Oh, um, who's outside catching a vibe? About to get some food, good eats. You know what I mean? You a, you eat. a, you a, uh, I'm you a, a vegetarian. Spanish, you a Spanish food type? Yeah, I'm actually uh, half black and half Puerto Rican, but I'm a vegetarian, so I just come in here for like the plantains, the rice, and all that. You speak Spanish or not? Nah. Un, un poco? Nah, nah no, no habla espanol? No habla for me. I speak English, you heard? <laughs> streets. I speak streets. Yo, speaking of, speaking of Mi Casa, what, what's out right now, man? Yo, my album's out right now, let the, the EP. Let the people know what's yo, out right yo. now, man. You see what's going on? The EP's out right now, me. Make sure you check it out, all platforms. Party G the Humble. Type that in on everything. You know what I mean? It's gonna come right up. Fire. I stack yeah. up daily, get sleep bad. These niggas be scary. They blunts be airy, the streets be lair. These niggas be scary, scary. I stack up daily, get sleep good. These niggas be scary, scary. Gotta watch uh -huh. what's, what's, what's Party G's favorite drink, man? What's your favorite? What's your favorite bed? My favorite bed? Oh, honestly. Oh, he went to the liquor section. Uh oh. Here we go. I don't know if they got it in here though. I don't think they got it. What is it? A Nantucket. Oh, the Nantucket. Ain't that, that's, that's the Caribbean? That shit is so good. So, you know what? Since we can't get the Nantucket, I'm gonna go with. Damn, there's so many decisions. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Kiwi Strawberry Snappers. You were huge strawberry snapple? Oh, uh, right, that's not it. That ain't it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not even a snapple apple? Nah, that's not it. Be Damn, yo, I'm gonna stick to what I was really gonna get. Na the Nantucket? Nah, and it's not here. What you gonna get? I was going for uh, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah, it's raining and all that. It's nasty out, spooky, it's scary outside. Scary. Ginger Ain't that a track off the off the matter of fact, we're gonna talk about that later. Bye. Uh, best back was out right here, you know? Not the white Russian? Nah, dog stuff. How are you? Auntie, say hi to the vlog. Hi. I'm doing a vlog right now. A, a life in a day of my life. Oh my goodness. He said a life in a day of my life. <laughs> How you doing though? Wait, let me show you. Your cousin. So you can get of us? He's on all platforms. Oh, shout out to my cousin. He just dropped. My cousin just dropped. What's his name? It's all his name. Sorry, I'm Max. Yeah. yeah. Man, no. All right, check that out, y'all. Yeah. Uh, we'll get that. That's my cousin. He's out right now. What's up? How you feeling? Are you right? Yeah, I just dropped out my arm off the shelf so I can have my weekend. So okay. Like, they in the life of the vlog right now. You know all, all right. these other people know. How y'all doing out there? Because people be fine like they really be outside, but you know. Mm, well, you see me, I'm outside. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. My God, you easy. already know. Love you. Y'all take it easy. These niggas be scared. What, the mall? Yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing a vlog right now, huh? Yeah, you know, the vlog people can't see where I'll be at. Oh, I got you, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna take you to the barbershop tomorrow, right? I'll call you. <laughs> yeah, well, man, why don't you just buy me some clippings? I'll be out. Alright, man, I got you, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. You know the vibes? Got my guy. Party G in the building. You know the vibes? How you feeling, bro? Feeling real good today. It's raining and shit, but. Yeah, I just made a post, all honestly. I screenshotted the weather that's in Troy, New York right now, and then I screenshotted the weather that's in LA, and this is a major, major difference, I tell you. What's, 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 the, what's the weather in, in, in Cali right now? Um, today, clear skies, high <laughs> 93, 
Damn. Low 68. It's beautiful out there. Shaking my head. It's beautiful out there, bro. But you know, we still out here working, doing what we gotta do. You know the vibes. That's a fact. This shit smack right here to me, casas. <laughs> Rice and gondolas and planting. That's all I need, you heard? Don't on So you said you're Spanish. Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican and black. You, you Latino. Yeah, my mother folk go Puerto Rican. And my father black. So so where you where you where you originally from? You you wasn't you wasn't born in the in the like the, the Latin islands. No, nah, no. Nah, um I'm actually oh honestly I was actually born in Hudson because my mom water broke while she was on Metro North. <laughs> you know, my family, my mom and pops was uh Shaking the bacon when I was young, so you know, they was actually in the midst of traveling or doing what they were doing in her water broke. So I was born in Hudson. I stayed in Hudson for like I want to say a day or two till they let me out. Mm -hmm. And I went straight to the city. I was in the Bronx. I lived in the Bronx. I lived in Harlem. Um, then I ended up moving upstate to Orb and shit. But when I moved to Orb, I, I came outside. And I was still young, mm -hmm. and when I came outside, I was wilding. So due to that, I had went to the group home. Mm -hmm. and I was in the group home for a little minute, like three years. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up coming back to old for another year and went to prison. Well, so then when I came home from prison, I just, I paroled Detroit, and I was just like, I'm good on any type of the extra stuff. Like, let me stay focused on the music and stuff. I got to go, you know, get going. Facts. And Troy, Troy's chill. I mean, it's still crazy. Flash, bang, bang, up on the show. Check this out. Each and every Tuesday and Thursday. 8 to 10. All right, I can. All right, we back. I can hear myself we now. We back. We back. Back like I left my car keys. Facts. You free, Max B. All right, so let's get let's get into the interview, man. So, so who's some music artists, man? You say you're from the city. Mm -hmm. So who's some music artists? I don't want to just say I'm from the city, though, because I live all in New York. But I lived in Poughkeepsie. All right, so you from New York? P so scale. You're from, so you from New York? Hudson. Yeah, I'm from New York. So who are, so who are some who are some other you know New York artists that influenced Party G? Well, my favorite artist of all time is Styles P, regardless the Ghost. You know what I mean? The ghost. And, you know, ain't, the ghost is so, different. So you got you got styles over Jada? Yeah, all day. Heard you. Know heard what you. I mean, no disrespect to heard Jada. You, not heard you. you know, Jada, Jada, the voice of the streets. I fucked with Jada. You know, Jada was definitely one of the big homies in the game. Facts. But I just, you know, I, I like styles more. I always liked his styles, you know, ever since I heard him. When I heard what, him. What, what made you like him more than like Jada, though? Um. I want to say it's just the, the way, it's just the artist overall. You know what I mean? Like, Styles are artists, but he's tapped into so much other things. You know, he got juice balls and um, he does so much type of other stuff. Like, not saying, you know, Kiss and, uh, excuse me, Kiss and uh, Sheik don't. But facts, facts. I just like, I just like Styles more, man. I just could relate and just adapt to more. And then, you know, my bro don't write nothing, so it's like. It's just dope. Just listen to them work. You know, it's work. So now, so like a person like Style. So what? 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 Like, what gravitates Party G to like an artist? So like, say like, you know, somebody wants to do a feature or something like that. What gravitates you to you know like really vibe with an artist? Um, really, it's all about if it's like really you. That's all it's, it's about. Authentic. Like if it's you, then either I'm gonna accept you for you or I'm not. Right. But once right. I feel like it's like it's like it's fabricated you, yeah. or you doing too much or you doing extra, <laughs> just like that's why you would never hear me like change my sound or try to do too much because it's like all I can do is present me. And if you're not rocking with it, maybe I'm just not your cup of tea or the music that you like. Facts. I don't mean uh, everybody in the world not gonna jack my nah, shit. That's a fact. That's a fact. So now, you know, you said you said the key word for me, you said the, the, the word that, you know, the, you said that the name of the new project that just dropped is called Me. Yes. So what, what, what made you, you know, let's get into it. What made you call the, the, the project Me? Um, it was really more of like the, the, the songs and the verses on the project. I felt like I was touching subjects that 
you know, people that surround me or personally know me, I was, you know, touching them subjects and answering some of the people questions or, you know, on the project, nothing was indirect. It was all for whatever you heard on the project. If it was for you, it was for you. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't no type of, I wasn't making music for everybody else. I was just getting shit off my chest and right. expressing it in my personal life, basically. Mm -hmm. I had like 15 records, but we decided to go with five. Oh, honestly, why, I had like why, 15 why records. Five? Because like the five records that I, I would only listen to them five records. Mm -hmm. Like back to so back that, to so back to help, back to back to help. back. And it was just like, if I could listen to these five records back to back to back and not get tired of these shits, like these shits could just play all day and I won't get tired. I know the world will too, you know what I mean? So we just wanted to die it down. You know, I went with some great producers. I went with uh, Jimmy Dukes for the project. And uh, Paul Bundy engineered it, you know, his catalog is long mm -hmm. from Kiss to Man. So Facts. we wanted to make sure the sound was really clear and nice. So what's what's like the what's like the takeaways from the project that you want, you know, the, the fans and the supporters to take away from me? Um, it's a process. Always know when you drop a song, it's a process. You don't want to rush things out because, you know, sometimes some of the records that you put on it shouldn't be on that project. And right. that one record could affect the whole project. Yeah, for sure. For you know sure. what I mean? It's, also, it's, all a, it's all a process. Like It's all about taking the right steps, going with the right sound that's yours, um, picking the right records that you like, but also, you know, it's going to draw to your, tent, uh, your audience. Facts, 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 facts. Word. So, big now, vibes. Now, let's talk about the, the single. The, the I'm going to call it the hit single. Hit single. I ain't even going to front. Scared. All jokes aside, it's really a hit single right now. We have 50K on Spotify. Nah, that I saw. Um, Shay45 is spending it every day going crazy. Shout out to the infamous time of days. He's on the record. That was the infamous. He went crazy on that record. See, the thing is with that record, I had Scary done, right? Yep. So, when I say I had Scary done, I just had like the hook. And um, we was actually in Inf Crib and all that. So I'm like, yo, Inf, I just want you to hear, I just want you to hear how this hook sounds. Right, that's what you hear how it sounds. So mind you, but the all day while we chill, I think we did a showcase or something. All day while we chill, I'm just singing in my head. Like, like scary niggas be scary. Like, I just kept saying, these niggas be scary. Like, uh -huh. All I kept saying was that, these niggas be scary. So then I ended up finishing the hook and I wrote the hook and he was just like, yo, I'm on that. <laughs> Write your verse, send it to me, bop, bop, bop. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I bet. And it was just crazy because I was trying to get a record from bro for a minute. I knew bro for a little minute now. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to get a record from bro, but you know, the records that I was bringing to him, I guess it just wasn't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once like he that. heard that scary hook, bro. I'd be like that too. It was over, and he he laid his verse down, and then with his sound and his voice and my laid back, you know, it just it just went together, bro. So, so was y'all in the studio like was y'all in the studio the same time putting the track down, or did y'all record it separate like spaces? I recorded the scary record a few times. Mm -hmm. I want to say about four or five times oh, wow. because it's either it didn't sound right. Or was it mixed right? Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure, you know, I kept everything was right. I had to make sure everything was right. Mm -hmm. Now I recorded it one time and I sent the if and I was like, yo, this is it. I, and if, like, if him be like, yo, the hook, like, the, like that's not it, bro. Like what the hook, hook not sounding right to oh, me. Like, so I'm not like feeling that. Like, like I want you to do that over. Nah, same words. Oh, just the, the it just delivery. Like, delivery, you know what I mean? So he was just like, I, I want you to do that hook over. So then I ended up finally doing it. I sent it to him and he was just like, yo, it's ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's ready. It's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And Scary is doing numbers right now. I actually got the video dropping soon. You know, we just we just letting it build organically before we, you know, right. throw the whole promos and the videos. Right. Everything's organically. Everything right now, the whole push and promo is off of the, the, the little reposts I've been doing and, and the stickers I've been getting from you. You know what I mean? We everywhere. LA. Fucking Connecticut, Pittsburgh, we everywhere. I've been everywhere with them stickers, man. Shout out right. to my God. Right. And with you putting the scan code on it, all it did was help my platform to become higher and higher and higher. So when mm -hmm. I actually finally did drop, yep. everybody I've been seeing this sticker, we've been running the sticker since what? I want to say. Yeah, no, you had a like, minute. Like, like May. 
You know what's Before crazy? That. What's crazy is I thought you, I thought the, the project already dropped, bro. Yeah. The way you was moving with the stickers, I literally thought it was already out. I'm yeah. Like, and I seen you, oh, like, yo, pre-order merch for me. Like, oh, it's about to, like, yeah. drop in. I'm like, oh, it didn't drop yet. Like, yeah, nah, oh. it didn't drop yet. It was just more uh, a, pro- a promotion thing. And I'm kind of happy I did it because, all honesty, the project been done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The project been done, but like mm-hmm. I told you, we had 15 records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The project been done. Process but elimination. The scary record wasn't all the way finished. I, I didn't have all the way clarified on beats and samples yet. Mm-hmm. And it was just a lot of more stuff that needed to be, yeah, you know what I mean? In-house things, yeah. And then, this is my first time dropping a project on my own. Mm. You know what I mean? Shout out mm. to my bro Viz. Me and Viz used to always do projects Shout together. To so I had I sat down with Viz. And I was like, Yo, Viz, I really want to just you know. And Viz was like, Yeah, bro, I'm gonna show you how to do this shit so we get. But it's just steps you gotta take to get it. You know what I mean? So that's why I have my stuff off YouTube right now. I have to re-upload it because it was steps I had to take. You know to start. Yeah, you can't skip. You can't skip the process. Yeah, you can't. You can't. And I just started my own label, Blacktop, Blacktop Forever Et. Fire. And it's lit, like Fire. black top is forever. Like whatever was on, whatever, whatever's on the pavement movement, you could hustle it. It's Facts. on the black top. You know? Facts. It could Facts. be sodas, waters. I like, I like that. So now let's let's talk a little bit about like um like music artists, right? So especially being independent, mm-hmm. and you know like you talking about imp and stuff like that. Talk about like you know the uh, another upcoming artist about how major it is to to network and you know make connections while you you know in the game it is like yo bro if anybody if anybody could have did it the most i want to say when i networking and blowing up fast was the baby i remember actually the baby coming up to old new york around like i want to say two or three years ago he did a few records with local artists mm-hmm. and he was really city to city with it and that was before the COVID, so it was right. like it was kind of different. Mm-hmm. But now with COVID, I just feel like it's all about you uh, getting directly to your consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to get directly to your consumer. Nah, directly sure, to the people sure. that fuck with you. Not topic. the people that's going to be like, well, maybe I... Nah, you need to get to the people that's like, yo, bro, once 12 o'clock come, I'm, walking I'm getting that. No, nah, for sure, bro. I'm getting that. You know for what sure. I mean? And I've been learning a lot watching from, you know, a lot of dudes in the Boom Bap Wave. Because that's the lane I am. I created my own sound called Boom Bap Wave. Mm-hmm. And in the process of me creating it, I met a lot of dudes, a lot of people, you know what I mean? And building a bond with certain people, you know, clarified it. So now, now when I say something, I'm not just saying it. Yeah. I can say something and be like, oh, no, that's, like, that's, that's part of it. Mm-hmm. I, we know him personally. Facts. I mean, we like his music, but we really know him. Like, Facts. Facts. We know my son don't eat meat, and then we, he need eight blunts a day. We know him. <laughs> it's different. You know what I mean? It's different. So we know him. It's different, it's different, bro. The game has changed, man, but it's changing in the right way. And I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm super happy with it. Word, bro. Word. So, uh, you said so it's five, five uh, songs on me. Yeah, five records. Out now, all platforms. All platforms. We'll get it now. I got all the videos done, too. Mm. I just ain't drop. Mm. I just ain't drop yet. I'm going to lead off with the scary video. Because, like, scary's the hit. Scary's the hit record. Yo, scary is getting played. Yo, bro, I got dudes. LA, Arizona, Vegas. Like, yo, scary. And if they hear it from numbers, it's dope. Because the sound is different, bro. Nah, and that scary record is straight New York, straight, some ninety shit. New like it's straight New York. Straight it ain't no like, yeah. it ain't even no like that's, New York that's, shit that's, that's two thousands. Yeah, it's yeah. like new, like nineties New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the hair people on the west side, on the west side, uh, be like, yo, I should zam scary. It came right up your whole project. Oh, this fire. <laughs> that shit is dope, bro. Word, that word. Dope. So, so you said you traveled out to Cali a little bit too. So. How how was the love on the on the West Coast for me? Because I personally, you know, Hollywood ain't, 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 ain't Hollywood yet for yo, me. Yo, bro, I ain't but going up front. What's the what's what's, it's what's the, the vibe, wave, man? Yo, bro, Hollywood is the wave because it's like it's either it's either or, either you doing your thing or you get and you got something going or you really homeless on the street. It's no in between. Yo, bro, homeless is 
crazy because you gotta think about it, it's always hot. Yeah, so nobody yeah, cares yeah, about yeah, living yeah, outside. Yeah, like, I'm outside. It's really, out, it's okay, really like, I'm outside yeah. out there. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, it's nice too, so. But the people was dope. Like the people was dope. Like if you got something going on for you and for yourself, and somebody got keys to help, they're gonna help. Mm-hmm. Like there's no like hiding the plug over there. Like right. they like yo, bro. As soon as I got out there, I was in the loop studio. Fire. Engineer, producer, like mm-hmm. like one video I go for shout out to my guy Ninja Productions, that's my guy. So you know what I mean? So it's like it's real dope out there. It's real dope. So uh what's what, what do you feel like is like the like a specific like um you know, stand out difference besides the weather, obviously. You said yeah. it's like ninety out there, right? It's now. ninety it's right like, now. It's like, what, what, what is it right now? Dude? It's ninety right now in Kelly. It's trash. What what's what is this? Let's see. Let's see. It is 52 degrees in Albany. Get me out of here. It's cold. Cold. Scared. It's cold, cold. It's scary. <laughs> he, he said it's cold, cold. He had to say it twice. Yeah, it's so, like, be, besides, the, besides the weather, though, in all seriousness, so besides the weather, what's something that, like, really, really stood out to you on uh, about the West Coast? Um, The way it's, like, structured, it's, like, open. It's, like, an open land, bro. It's, like, like flat, like it's like just, and like you can see the whole city. You go on one type of like, flat. yeah, bro. You go on like one type of hike or get to the right type of peak of a like. You see the whole, bro. You see the whole LA, That's like crazy. the whole LA, bro. It's dope. It's real dope. I'm telling you, you will love it. Nah, for sure. I know if you go out there, bro, it's going to be a minute for you to come back. I can't wait, bro. I literally can't wait. I'm just building my connections, yo, Cali. Bro, Cali's a wave. Cali's a wave. I'm actually going to Detroit. Next month for the first time in my life. Detroit, that's a good move. That's a good move. Check the D out. You know what I mean, Paul? That was Pause. crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy, son. <laughs> it's all good though, you know. Yo, I'm players bad. fuck up too. Yo. Nah, but Detroit is so all my family out there. You know what I mean? Word. Like I said, uh, rest in peace, my aunt. You know what I mean? Rest um, in peace, facts. My aunt died, bro, and that shit just like. <clears throat> <laughs> it's like it just it's just weird, bro. Like she, like, my my aunt, bro. She was good. Mm-hmm. Like, she was like good, bro. Yeah. She was good money, bro. That's the only reason why I came back because my aunt passed and all that. I would have still been in LA right now, <laughs> but when she passed, I met a lot of family from Detroit that came to the funeral. Oh yeah, network. Network crazy. Fire, so I got fire. mad cousins out there doing their thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They walking in. That's a whole. That's a whole different they, they pulled up bro. with the Cartiers and. The, Mm. Big bag, like, mm. like what, cuz? Like, yeah. what, man? You come here? Money. I gotta give you some buffs, like, oh, what? It's like that, cuz, bad. Say no more. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna shoot out there, check it out. Word. So, um, yeah, man. What else? What else can you know the people expect from you? You know, remain of the year, man. It's been a crazy year. 2020 was more for the books for sure, bro. But Yo, 2020 was crazy, man. I lost two arms. Crazy. My mother's side and my father's side. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of people that I was like, I thought was friends. Mm-hmm. I gained a lot of shit, you know what I mean? Right. I gained a lot of plugs. I gained a lot of people I fuck with. Gained a good fan base. It was kind of balanced for me. So, like, for the rest of the year, what you should be expecting that scary video. Mm-hmm. That scary video in the year out, everywhere, you know what I mean? And next year, we just continue to keep working, bro. Fact. Continue to keep going. Continue to keep putting out constant, constant content. Facts. That's so, what. So talking. now, where do you where do you see the the Party G brand? Feel me, like like five years from now, speaking into existence. Where you where you want to be with the brand? I am going from five years from now. I will be living in LA. Yeah, I heard. Um, you. the brand will be going nice. Black Top Five A and T will be like super branched out into like clothing. Uh, drinks. I will have a liquor. I will have my own liquor. Yes, I know. Yes, that's I know. Smart, dude. And I also will have my own cannabis, which will be oh, actually straight. coming yeah, next year. It's Ooh. coming next year. It's really things is going You got a name for you? You got exclusive? Um, party time OG. If you're gonna look up for it, it's really crazy. I ain't gonna front. It's really crazy. Party the dudes that know OG. me, they know what's up. That's what the party gas. Time. You wanna talk about OG. gas? See, but my man's done went to Cali and turned to a big bottle full of. Full, full of, full of, I don't know. Philippine? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Yo, no. son. 
Yeah, man. Or you saw so, someone that studies plants. Oh, ah, uh, a philosopher or something. No, a botanist. A bot. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I had to go out there and study. You know what I mean? What's up with the Cali in terms of a botanist? Yeah, I had to study the earth, bro. You know what I mean? Like I said, if you know me, I need eight blunts a day. Right. Maybe 10. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I got to know what I'm ingesting and what I'm putting in my lungs and shit. So I really went out there and study, study. Facts. Yeah, well, let's let's speak on that real quick, too, because a lot of people, especially with, you know, like, you know, um, we kind of, you know, transition into being more and more legal. Mm-hmm. But, you know, even for you, tell tell the people kind of, you know, like, because you say, you know, somebody might sit here and laugh like, oh, he needs eight months a day. Ha, 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 ha. But, like, yeah. realistically, tell the people, you know, explain to them. Kind of what 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 it does for you, for me. Oh, so I ain't gonna front right now. Uh, recently, I had uh, went to the doctor and shit and found out I got an enlarged heart. Oh wow! So I have super super duper high blood pressure, uh-huh. like crazy. I'm on medicines and all that. I'm mad young, uh-huh. like, you know uh-huh. what I'm for sure. And what scared me the most? That's when my aunt just died. From mm-hmm. She had high blood pressure. It wasn't taking her medicine and all that. Mm-hmm. So it was crazy. But the doctor, the doctor is like, I don't want to say recommend, but he's like, yo, like you smoke, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, how much you smoke? I'm like, uh. so he's like, oh, you know what I mean? But <laughs> like, it's good be. because it keeps your heart rate level down. Slower, it yeah, keeps yeah, you yeah. real calm and it keeps you nice. So mm-hmm. I, I smoke because I like to, and it's also for a reason too. Right, right? Right, you know what I mean? I'm not too. just like, you know, if I if I could be medical, but I will. But you know, yeah. Word. It's not. I'm not just out here blowing it down just to blow it down now, mm-hmm. right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'd rather make some cash. Yeah, facts, but, facts. You know, yeah. I gotta keep myself going, keep myself chill. You know what I mean? Facts. I can't get worked up too much. Facts. That's why you always see me chilling, bro, no, by myself. Definitely. Because yeah. I'll be worrying about my health. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to get worked up. Oh, say if something happened, worked up, we in a battle, I, I pass out. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> like, I don't want nothing like that happening, yeah, bro. Yeah, so that's a fact, bro. I keep myself safe. Like too short for you know what mean? Anyways, you know what I mean? And I've been jumped off the porch, bro. Facts. You know what I mean? I'm not a nigga that's just like out here. Uh, like, I've been around, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've been around. I, like People that know me know me. Mm-hmm. So it's like they, ex- they appreciate my life now. Facts. You know what I mean? Because they know me from when I was young. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. So, like, all it took was that first bed up north. That up north bed different. People would act like they ready for that Jack Mac and fifty five pounds and, would, and tickets and all that. Yeah, people, people not ready for that, but that's different. Now just imagine right now. That's why I want to say before you know we get up out of here, free all the dudes that's incarcerated right now, and I wish them the best of luck, and I just give them nothing but good energy and positive energy because you right. know we doing bad right now outside with COVID yeah, so imagine, so imagine yeah, being yeah. inside with that and you so know being around people right. that don't really care about you right. at all right. it's a lot it's a lot bro right. it's a lot so um you know on that note too to, to end off too so so give some um you know to an upcoming artist or a younger a younger artist for me a younger individual a younger entrepreneur like yourself give some um you know encouraging words on you know how to how to how for how for them to continue their path to success type thing. Yo, bro, I ain't even gonna front. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you two what's the names because I I give got two gems, I, I got to tell a little. The first gem is for anybody on this earth, mm-hmm. artists, whatever. You know what I mean? All you need on this earth to survive, bro, is food, shelter, and water. Right. If you got them three things, bro, you Gucci, you good. You could now. It's all about your mind mm-hmm. to make everything about your need, like you know the shit you want. Yeah. All you need is food, shelter, and water. Right. Everybody out here working out and going hard for they wants. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Unless you homeless, high, then it's different. Mm-hmm. And for all this, I just tell dudes like just be yourself, bro. Just continue to do what you want to do, bro. And be yourself. Don't burn your bridges. You know right. what I mean? We always kept our drugs smooth, bro. That's why. We go for life. You know sure. what I mean? You know you can hit me, I can sure. hit you. If anything, I might it might be a few days out, but you yeah, already know yeah. we good, bro, yeah, because sure. from day one we always kept our business straight. Right. And I'm like that with everybody I meet, bro. Right. That's why I'm so likable of a person. If a person don't like me or they're like, ah, bro, a that's a personal situation. Yeah, it's be a reason, it's right. something that's personal with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing crazy. You know what I mean? But that's all I got for the people. Follow me on the Instagram, the real party G. Facts. Facts. Yeah, man, check us out. On Instagram, DJ Hollywood. Don't forget the eight party G. What's, what's the Instagram name? The real party G on Instagram. 
And uh, part of you the humble on all platforms. Go find that music. I appreciate everybody out there. Stay COVID free. Facts. Just keep grinding. I'm gonna include some. Uh, I'm gonna include. I'm gonna include his uh, Instagram link in the bio down low. Make sure you like, subscribe. More content coming soon. And party G. These niggas be scary. They blunts be airy. The streets be lair. These niggas be scary. I stack up daily. Get sleep bad. These niggas be scary. They blunts be airy. The streets be lair.